Association, Conference Organizing, Faculty Development Workshops, Management Development Programs, Academic Administration in Reputed Premium Business Schools in India, like ICSEI, IFIM, IMP, and in Indonesia and also UAE. Dr. Indukori was nominated for Sharjah Government Internal Meeting at UAE Free Trading Agreement that is FTA with government officials and industry experts at Sharjah Economic Developmental Department in January 14. He served as visiting faculty in the University of Dipanguru, Indonesia as a part of faculty exchange program with IMP. He was awarded the best participants in banking and insurance workshop of ICSAI Hyderabad in 2006. Dr. Indukuri successfully accomplished consultancy projects including the clients like Dalal Street Investment Journal and Equity Research. Dr. Rajulso, he has excelled in research with 50 conference participation and paper presentations. He has 24 papers published to his credit and received outstanding research award and best in session award in IBSR Global Conference on Business and Finance in USA in January 2013. On behalf of our management of the University of all the faculty and our research, I once again heartily welcome our Dr. Rajun sir. Uh, to uh, train our research scholars on research design. I am also glad to share that Dr. Rajan sir was very enthusiastic and active uh, and he already shared the uh, slide shares, various PPTs and PDFs which I already posted in the WhatsApp group and the sir also wanted the session to be interactive and I also tell sir usually our sessions are very interactive our scholars also are uh, very active and they want to learn uh, things. So, uh, once again, welcome you, sir, and all the research scholars. I uh, hope you are having a fantastic, knowledgeable session. Uh, so, thank you, one and all. Over to Dr. Raju, sir. Thank you, Dr. Nagajyoti, for your fantastic uh, introduction. Nice words for me. I remember that. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon, all of you. Good afternoon, sir. 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 So, yeah. so nice to hear all energetic voices in the afternoon. So, so good to hear. Uh, I welcome to my session. I welcome all the budding researchers and uh, would be doctorates, PhD holders. With this brief introduction, I wish uh, you all are aware of me. I, I hail basically from a business family. I, I fell in love with this teaching. You know? uh, I started my teaching and excelled in teaching, in training, research, publication. I am also writing a book for Oxford University Press on investment analysis and portfolio management. Before I tell about myself, I wish to know how many of you are academicians? Can you can I see the hands so that I can count? How many of you are in teaching? Only three? Okay, five. I, I, I see five. Six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Vanaja. Okay. Dr. Shweta, Ramya, Shushma, Madhavi, Savitri, Rekha, Rajeshwari, Sudhir Reddy, Lavanya, Shobha Lakshmi, okay. Jyoti Reddy, Okay, yeah, good, good. So my assumption was right. So I assume most of your uh, academicians, right? Can I take it that yes. way? Yeah. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Maybe. Actually, many of us, actually, all of us, 
Oh, all of oh, that's great. That's great. Okay. Ninety eight percent of our research scholars are academicians. Wow, wow, that's great. Welcome to the academic fraternity. Thank you. Good to know Thank that. <laughs> okay. Any one who is non-academics? Maybe two percent. Maybe one one student or one candidate. Uh, yes, sir. I work in a company called uh, EI Group on India Private Limited. Okay. Uh, and I'm toxicologist. Oh, Srivina, right? Yes. Yeah. So, what is your area, madam? Uh, my area is uh, toxicology. Oh, oh, wow, wow, toxicology. Okay, that's great. That's nice. Uh, I wish you all uh, uh, invite uh, Srivina into our uh, research uh, discussions. Uh, so that uh, we all are in one platform. Okay, so why I was uh, telling you about this, I was into this teaching profession, you know, uh, to know more things, learn more things and so on. Uh, economics was my first igniter, then I got into finance and so on. I wanted to do B.Tech civil engineering, but my dad didn't do it. I wanted to get into MS in computer science in 1994. In Cleveland State University, my dad didn't permit. So I was everywhere, I can say that. So teaching is one thing which is respected and revered across the world, not just in India. In India it is more Acharya Devo Bhava. So why people respect teachers or professors, trainers, lecturers or whoever it is? The reason is they, they assume that the Guru has wealth of knowledge. So knowledge is not just concepts, one is conceptual understanding and application of the same and tested somewhere to give more. I think I was part of uh, Praramba 2021 on the first day, that's on Monday on the 19th. Uh, Vice Chancellor was saying our research should be beneficial to the society, economy or business communities. And uh, I, I remember our registrar was saying this is a university which gives more scope for innovation. And I, I remember uh, Dr. Nagarjyoti, research director's words. It is all, she was talking about kites. Coming back, may I know quickly why my academic friends I mean, including Srivina, why you wanted to do PhD? Is there any specific objective at your end? Of course, college demands, UGC demands, those things are there. Let us not get into it. Apart from that, why you want to do PhD? Can I know from you? Can I hear from you? Anyone? You are free to talk to me. To excel in the subject, sir. Uh, sorry? Sorry, Nikita? To excel in the subject. To excel in the subject. Yes, good. Okay, good. Anyone else? To know something which is hidden, sir. Oh, hidden. Uh, so you want to uh, discover that. Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, you want yes, to sir. show to others through you, through your work. Yes. Good, fantastic. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's good. Anyone? So I think I'm so happy that you got your own customized objectives or goals or targets. That's the reason you are here with Best Innovation University to do your PhD. It's fantastic to hear about uh, you all. Uh, I, I wish I would uh, know for, with all of you, but we don't have time. But uh, this is a sampling I have done. I'm so happy you made me very happy today. So now, this is the first step of your uh, uh, research process, right? Before this, you are into any research or something like that? Anyone? No, sir. This yeah. is the question. Okay. Doing a MPhil, doing a project, doing a publication, anytime? No, okay. No, Fine. Sir. Fine. No, sir. Fine. Aspect, Fine. So. No, sir, I yeah. No, sir. I did a MSc. I did a project in MSc. Okay. Related to rainwater harvesting. Wow. Okay. So the, you did a research while doing the project, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good to hear. That's fantastic. So things are diversified in my session. My students are diversified. That's so good. So here, whenever you talk about research, 
let us not put a brand as it is a academic process this is a requirement for certification or something for example i tell you you have been maybe searching for universities or colleges in india or out of india to do your phd and at the end uh, you reached okay you truncated your search with best innovation university right so before this what kind of search you have done what kind of study you have done that is part of research okay so search is a simple thing when you search something you study the details of it in and out details you study that becomes a study like nalina was saying she did a project in rainwater harvesting she did something which is innovative and research is beyond that you know you try to uh, like someone said, i think nikita said she wants to know new things in her own area right i think rajesh we said that she wants to uncover the facts which are not known to others in your own area so that requires special attention by you okay with a supportive system okay so the phd program is a supportive system to you a program curriculum the faculty the research guides the inputs you have i think all this will pamper you in the research environment so that you will excel in your research that is the idea okay but, but why are you interacting here so my role is to ignite your minds so that you open up towards your own research your own research and try to work your own way and of understanding the uh, research things let it be corporate academic intellectual published unpublished whatever it can be uh, anyway it can be anyway okay so i wish you had a good sessions uh, uh, on uh, research uh, methodology review of literature and so on uh, am i am i right you are done with that right yes sir yeah. yes sir yeah, yeah so i hope uh, so let me start this way as you are clear you are slowly getting connected with your uh, research excitement let me put this way is there anyone who is clear or sure sir i want to do my phd with research in this specific area when i ask my students to do their projects uh, uh, like uh, i i am basically a management uh, professor i teach finance i'm a finance professor i can say that so whoever is coming to me with a project so i ask them in a practical way like our, we are talking together in this session so that makes the student to get connected and find out the new things that's how it goes uh, uh, you are good in that okay so that's the starting point actually so the first thing is as i already told you of course these things will happen in detailed manner in future with all the faculty and your guide don't worry about it i'm just giving the gist of it okay so first thing is your area is civil engineering your area is biotechnology your area is financial management you you are a uh, hindi teacher or uh, you are a english teacher you are a, a history teacher you are into arts you are into applied arts you can be into engineering science technology uh, you can be into humanities you can be anywhere first and foremost is based on your qualification that your masters let it be msc me med mba mtech it could be any masters based on your masters you would have got some specializations in your masters right in that specialization you would have done your project like like one of our friends suggested just now so your concepts related to your specialization they are applied in your project in msc itself or ma itself in your masters itself so the best way is try to bring out those learnings into this program that will be easy to you there will be a lot of synergies you have a smooth sail it will be a cake walk for you okay so your masters is more important when you try to get into research because you already got a, a very good uh, uh, inputs within you okay so get all those things and try to ponder sit in your room and uh, what can i do what i did what i have what i know what i don't know what i want to present to others what i want to contribute to society what i want to give to business community what i want to give to industry government 
my own neighbors, my own family, leave all those things myself. What is that I can do research where I can benefit? There are many things you can work on this. So first is your research area. Once you are clear with your research area, okay, at least some area that you want to do. Some area, you not be hitting the bullseye with a clear title. You can talk about your area also, your intentions. Okay. Why I'm asking you is, when I'm, whatever I say right now, if you are involved with your own research area, probable or future research, if you are connect, bringing that to uh, uh, right now, bringing that into your mind right now, so whatever we share, we discuss becomes practical. If not, it becomes concepts. You know, see concepts, other things, even PDF best books are available free of comments. Uh, so, sir, um, in field of toxicology, uh, uh, if a chemical or any product uh, to be released into the market, first pre the trials are done, yes. uh, that to on animals. So, okay. uh, due to this, many animals are uh, dying. Okay. Uh, so, I wanted to do my PhD in computational toxicology, okay. uh, wherein, using the computational, uh, there are two databases, there are two softwares, wherein, based on the structure, okay. uh, we can know how much toxicity can, uh, that particular chemical can pose on humans or animals or environment, whatever it is, whatever endpoint it is. So, based on the structure, if we predict the toxicity, uh, maybe in future, uh, the use of animals may reduce. Wow, that's great, that's great. It is a dent into the, in the universe. You are bringing a new methodology, you know, in testing processes. That's great. I wish you all the good luck for you, Sri, Sri Veena. That's great thing. That's great thing. You know. I think uh, Sri Veena, she already told that she wants to change the way animals are tortured during testing. She wants to bypass that. Like that, is there anyone who wants to do in their own specific area? Anyone? I, just a guess, just a guess. You need not worry about it. Uh, sir, I would like to uh, bring out the universalism that is connected to uh, okay. the behavior, morals and the ethics of the students uh, through autobiographies of eminent people, uh, eminent personalities in India, sir. Okay, so your research area is students behavior. Can I say that, Rajeshwari? Yes, sir. Ethics, morality is a universalism, which is an essential factor correct, correct. Uh, to bring all of us together. Good. Correct. You are right. So that's a good area. Actually, that is natural thing, but to, in these days we are missing that. And it is uh, important that we have to do a study on that. Good. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so students, you know, yeah. Yeah, please go ahead. You are saying something, Rajeshwari? No, sir. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's good. See, uh, I think it's uh, so uh, embarrassing to all uh, teachers, including me, you know, you are well prepared, excited to take the session and uh, elevate the students' minds to the next level, bring the excitement and make them go back ho home with a lot of happiness, you know. But when you look at them, some of them say, ma'am, attendance, sir, attendance, you know. And in the examination also, we face a lot of problems and we wish there should be a magic, there, there should be a miracle where my students change and they follow all uh, learning and teaching ethics and standards and follow the college rules and regulations also. Yeah, that's so good your area, Rajeshwari. Yeah, anyone else like that? Yeah, uh, I think if one of you know your own research area, we can discuss so that others can understand. Anyone, you are clear with your research areas? Toxicology, we got one. Water harvesting, we got the second one. Student behavior, third one. Anyone else? You can just give your master's specialization or the subjects you are teaching right now. That will do. Which is interesting or exciting to you. Yeah, Shushma. I am from electronic uh, subject and my research area I want to do in IOT, Internet of Things. Good. And more specifically, more specifically I want to do in the medical field. Okay. Internet of Medical Things. Very good, very good. 
I think Shishma was saying, uh, talking about uh, IoT, Internet of Things. Okay. And uh, IoT, you need to take the patents. Patent is more important. You know, it is very simple. Very, very simple. You know something, you link that to technology, websites or internet or apps. Okay. That is difficult. Idea is simple. But making it practical, empirical and useful to others, I think it's very tough. Okay. One of my students, he got the patent. Please, Nikita. Sir, my area is uh, enhancing writing skills okay. in the undergraduates from rural and urban areas. Sir. Oh, are you a soft skill trainer or English faculty? English faculty. Oh, good. Good, good. Very good. You have a great role to play right now. You know, <laughs> any subject, all the students need uh, Nikita's help. You know, uh, Nikita, uh, you know, uh, or even some students are not uh, even capable of writing a good email, email, you know, they try to put a Facebook message comments and a WhatsApp kind of, uh, <laughs> I don't know what words to use uh, in mails also. When they're looking for a job, you should be very good in appeasing others, you know. So that kind of writing skills, uh, people like Nikita, they are there to provide. So, so that is that is her area. That is a real beneficial uh, result to the student community if uh, uh, she can uh, successfully do it in the shortest uh, possible time. Yeah, Nalina, you have something? Sir, I am doing a PhD in related to forest vegetation. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't get you. Forest vegetation. Forest. Forest. Forest vegetation, using forest forest vegetation, that is a big concern for the whole world, not just the country. On the name of inclusive development, you know, people are deforesting like anything. Uh, I think, uh, I, I think, I, I wish you agree with me, Nalina. I think that is a concern for all the governments. Okay, if they want to do some policy making for forest vegetation. And GDP numbers say, no, 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 we want GDP growth rate. If you want GDP, I think all the natural things will, I think, erode. This is a problem. That is one area, but your, your job is very challenging, I tell you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Governments, all governments, they appreciate you. Environmental boards, environment protection bodies, they all are there. There are many policies coming into picture, but... The cost of doing that, appeasing the communities, ruling communities importantly, business communities importantly, you know, I think the research should be in such a way that we mind others also. So our project should be inclusive. I think I wish you good luck for that. Please let me know. I, I think I'm, I shared my contacts. Please, once you publish your paper, please let us know. I will be more than glad to see your results. Okay. I took the cold sticks. Which one? Okay, it is north of Karnataka. It is north of Karnataka. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Good. Good luck for that, Nalina. Anyone in management, economics? Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Sir, I am Mr. Kansal from Saint Francis College. Yes, Miss Kansal. Miss Kansal. Yes, sir. I am pursuing my uh, research in management and I have taken up a startup as my topic. I am sorry? Uh, you have taken up? Startup, sir. Startup. Startup. Okay. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, may I know what you want to do? You are doing a startup or you want to do PhD or research in startup? Sir, research in startup, sir. I'm, my PhD topic is going to be startup. Oh my god, I, I have many students getting linked with me. I'm also a startup mentor. I do mentoring for my young minds. Most of the engineering students, they come to me, management students and engineering students. I think two of the students are successful. They are making good money also. And they are launching new products. I wish. Uh, oh great sir. <laughs> sir, will you mind sir giving your number sir? In case if I sure, sure. It's already there. I think. Uh, uh, before we forget, uh, you must let me get into the chat box. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, I'll give you the details yes, so that. Sorry for the interference, madam. In the WhatsApp group, I have posted. Uh, I think yeah. And the phone number of doctor. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you very much. So nice of you. 
I think ma'am has good uh, put good efforts. Uh, uh, she has put all the details. Okay, you can go through them. Okay, so uh, I love to connect with you all. You know, I already told you I'm from a business family. Sharing knowledge, giving knowledge is my passion, and I love to learn every day. Even today, I'm learning from you all. Okay, learning should be a continuous process. That is how you become wealthy. You know. The wealth of knowledge comes by learning every day. That's what I believe. So startups, you have loads of uh, holes to plug in. Miss Kansal, I should tell you. I think there are many. There are many. You know, startups they're dying. Uh, uh, central uh, central government uh, is offering many proposals, subsidies on interest rates, uh, credit guarantee schemes, uh, lot of incentives for MSMEs. They're not leaving even micro uh, enterprises also. Right now, I'm teaching. I designed a subject called uh, uh, um, small business planning, structuring, and financing small business. I'm rich. I'm doing that. I have small strength of 29 students. I'm mentoring all the 29 students. You know, basic problem in India is they don't want to do business. That's a challenge you will have, Miss Council. Yeah. You know, yes, uh, uh, even the student is ready to do uh, business. Their parents don't agree. <laughs> if it's a yes. girl, are ya, ladkiya or dhanda karna business karna? No, 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 no. Ye naandra vese amma ya, vyaparo ho to do do. They say that. Beda beda in Karnataka they say that. Okay, and if the boy wants to start business, they say. How do you get the match? Who will give girl for you? <laughs> Marriage is tough if you do business. That is the mindset uh, we have. So that way you have very big uh, challenge, uh, uh, Miss Kansal. But Indians are so innovative, intellectually strong. Only thing is people like uh, Kansal and uh, people like uh, others who uh, shared about. Uh, we have one. Uh, I think Nikita. You guys have. Uh, you people have big role to play in promoting that. Okay. So it's I'm so glad that uh, uh, you all are sharing uh, your own uh, uh, research areas. Yeah, Arun Kumar, what is your research area? May I know? Sorry, sir, you are talking to me. Uh, no, I was asking uh, Arun Kumar. Okay, sir, sir. Okay. Can Hello? you? Yeah, can you hear sir? me? Yeah, Arun. Sir, I'm unable to. Hello. Ah, uh, we can we can hear you. Ah, uh, sir, I'm doing research, sir. I'm started my own organization, plant research, plant biotechnology. Oh, biotechnology. Good, good, good. Very good. Good uh, to hear. Good. Thank you, Arun. Research only, sir. Already research and all. Oh, you're already there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. I uh, yeah, I'm I chosen one medicinal plant. Okay. So you are uh, trying to get a patent on that again, working on that. Ah, yes, yes, <laughs> that's a target. Ah, sir. That's a target. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to do research and uh, that is uh, through tissue culture related plants. I want to supply to farmer. Okay, very good, very good. Good luck. Huge demand in chemical farmer uh, pharmaceutical company. That plant. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, Arun. Ah, yes, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Okay, it's good. I think almost ten people. Gave their own intentions. What they want, they they are very clear. I think uh, your research guide's job will be very easy because you are already connected to the, your uh, research problem. You know the problem. Start an exploratory research. Okay, research can be of different types. Uh, yeah, broadly, people say exploratory research, descriptive research, causal research. Even if you are doing a causal research or causal study. You all have to do exploratory study, okay? So now you will be slowly getting into research objectives, research goals, and slowly you will be knowing your research parameters, the variables, the stakeholders, the processes, the times, the cost involved in this, and so on. Okay? So slowly you have to plunge in. You should not. Take a dive. There should it should not be a nose dive. You should not fall into research all of a sudden. It will be a chaos. You will be lost. Sir, you have to help me. Ma'am, you have to help me. You will go here and there. No, you need not worry about all those things. Have a clear plan. 
have a clear plan of your research so so i think we had a fantastic better than expected i didn't expect this interaction actually so nice of you all uh, making me uh, proving me wrong actually <laughs> i didn't expect that this is more than expectations thank you very much so the plan should be preceded by your own connection with your own research okay so research area that gives you the title uh, anyone else would like to share your own research area i will be glad